On number 10, we have the SKS and SVD. Now, SKS considered to the best marks rifle for the season 9, and from the past one year, we are seeing these two guns are still in a meta spot. Now, SKS can has a capability of two shot and one shot if you are hitting headshot till the infinite ranges because there is no damage of this gun. But remember that this gun needs a very passive style of playstyle. If you want that, you can give it a try. Now, depending on your skill level, the SKS and SVD may be ranked higher on this list. But I am assuming you are not very good with the SKS, so for that reason, I am putting on number 10. The number 9 spot has been taken by the KRM. This is said to be the best shotgun in both global as well as the Garena server. Now, previous season it received a huge buff, which makes it way better than the other two shotguns. The buff was the damage buff, the range buff, and also improving the hip fire accuracy. It increases its one shot consistency much more, way better than the BY15 and HS04, the other two options. And here's the gunsmith for that. The number 8 spot has been taken by M13, one of the most easy gun to use after PP19. It having the large mic size with a good and a clean iron sight. If you are using the last season Battle Pass Brooklyn, it is much more cleaner than the base version. It has also a small amount of recoil which can be pretty easily countered. It also have a good bullet spread accuracy which helps you in the longer ranges of the fight. But with a couple of nerfs coming up the, from the previous season, it just loses its popularity and come below from its prime time and still holds the position in top 10. Here is the gunsmith which you can use it. The number 7 spot has been taken by Kuna. It deals insanely high damage with a fast fire rate and also having a good area speed. Plus the recoil pattern is very much controllable. You can control it with some kind of practice. And also you will be able to beam your target at the mid to the closer ranges. Yeah, you can hit for the go for the longer ranges but I will not suggest because you need some kind of headshot for that. Here is the gun suite, make sure to try it out. The number 6 spot has been taken by the Kilo 141. Still, after receiving so many nerfs, the Kilo holds the top 10 position for itself. Kilo considered to be one of the strongest AR right now and it can still outgun the other ARs currently present in this game. Even after the multiple nerf, the gun can perform better, having a good accuracy shot and a good damage and also the cleaner iron side than most of the ARs. Now the gun lags behind in one expert that is the time to kill or I would say the fire rate. For that reason, it has been dropped to the 6th position and here's the gunsmith, make sure to give it a try. The number 5th spot has been taken by the snipers and currently the two best snipers are DLQ and ZRG. Obviously the locust buff was significant better but currently it doesn't make it to its prime version. So ZRG and DLQ are pretty much safer side. Why ZRG? Because ZRG has the one shot capability till infinite ranges hitting anywhere on the body part. On the other hand, if you need suppression, FMG and more bullets, you can go with the DLQ. So for SND, you can use the DLQ and for despawn, you can use the ZRG. Here is the gunsmith for the all three snipers. On number 4 spot, we have the CBR4. Now, CBR considered to be the best SMG in the, some previous seasons, but after a couple of nerfs, this gun just dropped out and with the switch split incoming. But in this season, it is receiving some kind of major buff, making it 4 shot for the closer ranges. But remember, it's still not in its prime version, so no need to worry about the CBR spam. Here's the gun switch, you can try it out. On number 3rd spot, we have the Holger 26, the most hybrid gun currently available in game. You can convert it into AR, SMG or LMG which deals up to 31 to 37.2 headshot damage and which is capable of 3 shot in closer ranges. Now the recoil pattern of the Holger is very easy that is left to right and also it receives some kind of buff in this season. Now the buff in the range makes it up to 4 shot and it's back up to its prime range. Now, buff to the Holger BSA helps it in the longer ranges of the fight and I would conclude that this Holger is way better than its prime version, I am repeating again, it is better than the prime version of the Holger currently. So you might see some Holger camper, so watch out about that. The number 2 spot has been taken by the Craig 6 because of its high damage with a good recoil pattern and also the fast time to kill. It act as a kilo but kilo on steroids, currently I am not able to provide you any kind of gunsmith because the gun is not unlocked but if you want to try it out you can try it on on BR 
or as well as in training count so make sure to watch out my video tomorrow regarding the quick stays and also let's just move to our number one spot that goes to the switchblade and obviously i no need to explain about the switchblade it has a very great fire rate with a good mobility and a very high damage with an also 40 mag what all you need as an smg and it just outgun every gun possible it's lacks on ranges but still who cares Let's talk about the most broken gun right now is XPR. Now XPR has received some base damage buff and currently with the use of the order free stopping power you can hit up to one shot any player above the body part till 43 meter of the ranges. You can use it as a sniper XPR and it is very fun to use it. So this is all for today's video guys stay safe and please make sure to hit that subscribe button and please make sure to check out uh, my next video about the zombies tips and tricks and stay safe bye bye see you arigato bye